Hello darklings, just a short little video here and I thought we should do like a uh, do it yourself um, because the weather is fucking hot so then I decided maybe we should have some protection. Ghosts need protection in the sun and in the heat and one of the things you can use is a hat. I bought this one today and I'm gonna do it more coffee. I'm gonna use uh, the roses from uh, these things. I have already cut one off, as you can see here. But don't be afraid, they're not gonna stay white. But you can probably buy them in any masquerade shop or something, or where you find things for hen nights. And this one I actually find at dollar store. And like you see now, I have uh, two of those and they're gonna probably fit all around everything without any problem so I'm gonna do a little painting now just spray as you want it don't have to be very good done it doesn't matter if it looks a little shabby chic or whatever you should call it because that's just gonna make it better you, you decide yourself how dark you want. You can do different dark parts. Something like that. And uh, I have also a silver kind of one. Should I try this one too? So they give that little more ghost-like thing. Now we have to let this dry and it can take a while. And during the time I actually took off the band that was around because I didn't like the tree colored bean cider. So it's now a complete clean canvas for me to work on. So what you need is a glue gun and what you want to decorate with and uh, my thought was to put those things around it to give that a little more female touch and I'm gonna have things in between but that's just enough to cover around so I'm gonna glue everything in place and it's just ordinary glue stick and an ordinary gun and when it's warm enough it should be just to press and then the glue should come. I'm gonna see if this works. And uh, now I think it start to get warm enough. So I put the glue on the inside of everything. I'm gonna see if it's not going to not work proper. So I think I take this thing off. So I put the glue on the inside. It's not very important to cover exactly everything because it's just gonna be fixed. The band that was before on was only fixed with some points. But remember the glue melts very fast and uh, you're probably gonna need to change the stick to a new one. And then you glue the things you have, put them in place, right way it should be perfect too. And try to stick them in place there. And I start to have uh, not that much glue in the gun now so I need to change but that's the way it works you continue the whole way around and you can do 
like parts at times so you can press and wait till the glue dried a bit so you know that it goes secure if you want to be safe you can always put some stitches so it stays even better in place but the glue should be enough it just uh, takes a little while to go and secure it in enough points it stays in place and uh, stretch it a little too so you have the full length so now I have glue all the way around them and you can see I haven't painted it perfect but it's not meant to be perfect because I want it to be a little rough too to give it a little more like a ghosty vibe to it then you can add whatever you want to make sure that it is what it is. Take a look first so you know what's back in the hat. So you don't get it too wrong. I see that I put it a little too long back so I don't want to have it right there. So moving forward. It's just uh, ordinary hair clips I used this time. And I bought them during Halloween and they didn't cost much. So I put them wherever I feel like it should be a great touch. Could be that they go off, so I better glue the whole thing in place instead. In that case, at least I can put it like I want. Maybe something like that. And hold it because it needs to dry first a little bit. Might have to glue it more in other places. Put as much glue you need because it's gonna stay in place you don't want it to fall off so I think I put a little more in those areas too to secure it in place it doesn't matter if it's not perfect because it's gonna look a little rough anyway and the positive side when I use gloves I don't have to burn myself directly on the on the glue because it can be hot so be careful. So this is how it goes so far. I thought I sh should use maybe one of my spiders too. Maybe I don't have to glue that in place. I can see if I can uh, attach it anyway with a little clip. See if I can hide the clip a little more under. It's not enough. So I'm gonna change direction instead. And try to get from the underside. In these places you usually wish you have more than one arm, but you can't have everything. But I guess that is okay enough for me at least. I'll give a little more touch for it. And you can add more things. Still have this one, but I think I'm gonna do like the other one. I'll try to take that off. And put a lot of glue where the hand is because that's Part they need to grab most area now. See that I run out of glue again, so I'm gonna load my gun. But first, I stick this before it dries. I could try to press from the other side too. And I think that sticks a little better than the other one, so I'm not sure I need to do so much extra glue on that one. But I'm gonna change the glue again. I think the hand looks very steady there, so I don't think I need to do so much more. But I still have one more spider, so maybe I should try to take off those instead. Because I didn't think that looked so great. So we take them off. And redo it. If you don't like it, just start all over again. There's nothing worse than you just do a new attempt. 
So I put a lot of glue on the, uh, on the side of the spider. You see it? There's a lot here. And then I press it in place. And I can lift the hat and press from the back side at the same time. And wait for some seconds. This goes very fast because it cools down very fast, this type of glue. And you do the same with the other one. A lot of glues. Looking for the perfect fit. And I think we do something like this then. Push, push it down here. And then we press. Press, press, press. Hold for some seconds. And then it's in place. You can have small glue threads, but it's just take them off. Or you just leave them and look like some type of uh, beginning of spider webs or something. But this is a simple way to actually transform a sun hat to something a little more goth like and ghosty. You just pick whatever you have, and this time I used those things. You saw it was not that much I used, and all you need is the things you find and your imagination. As you can see, darklings, this is the result. It's a little more gothy, a little more spooky, a little more Halloween. Because goths have Halloween every day, even when we're melting away. I hope you like this one, and I hope I could do some inspirations for you all. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and please share. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you like it. If you want to see something more about like this type of things, please let me know. Love you all, stay safe and weird and be nice to each other.